Shifting gears, South Korea and the U.S. will kick off their annual Combined Freedom Shield exercise next week to better respond to evolving nuclear threats from North Korea. The 11-day training will involve almost 50 field training exercises, twice the number conducted last year. Our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Yunji has more. Starting next Monday, the military forces of South Korea and the U.S. will hold their major combined exercise, the Freedom Shield. In a joint press briefing on Wednesday, the two countries explained that the computer-simulated command post training will focus on conducting multi-domain operations, encountering North Korea's nuclear operations. The Republic of Korea and the United States militaries will conduct the Freedom Shield exercise to increase combined readiness and strengthen combined defensive posture for 11 days from March 4th through the 14th. They said the training will be based on scenarios that reflect diverse threats within the security environment, such as drills detecting and targeting cruise missiles. They've also decided to increase the number of field training exercises on land, at sea and in the air to increase interoperability. There will be a total of 48 combined field training exercises taking place all across the Korean Peninsula, including joint airstrike training, joint tactical live fire exercises, joint air-to-air -air shooting and air-to-ground bombing exercises. This means the Allies will conduct twice the number of field exercises in the first half of this year, compared to the same period last year. But this year's exercises won't be limited to just the U.S. and South Korea. Member states of the United Nations Command, including Australia, Canada, France and the U.K., will also be taking part. And the Neutral Nations Supervisory Commission will observe the drills based on the armistice agreement. The combined exercises are expected to anger North Korea, as the regime sees joint training as an invasion rehearsal. There is a possibility that the North may engage in provocations during the exercise period in protest. Pei Arirang News.